In this video, we'll examine how to create a new web project from a template. This is very similar to the process to create a new grid or dialog from a system template. If we click on the New Project option in the Web Control Panel, we have two options available to us. We can start a new empty project and click the OK button. And this opens up a prompt, just like we had previously, to enter a name for a new project. However, we also show a list of available system templates. In this case, there is only one template available to us, a contact manager template. If we select the project listed or one of the projects listed, there is information at the bottom about this template, giving some key properties. Also, what to do next, talking through the process of how to insert the project, and what goes on behind the scenes. If we click OK, we open up a second form. This has a help file attached to it tells you enter name for the new project. The name of the template selected will be entered as a default name. The project name will be blank if there is already a project with the same name as the template. If a project name is entered that is the same as an existing project, the message will display asking if the files in the project should be overwritten. Overwriting a project may be done to replace missing or edited files or replace data files. You'll be prompted before any file is replaced. Some projects contain data files. This one contains two data files. You can select to include the data file and include sample data if it, if it is available. The option to include sample data will not be available if sample da data has not been provided. The options for each data file is set individually. Select each file on the list and set the options for that file. Normally, if sample data is included for one, it should be included for all. Select where to save the data files. The default location is the current database folder. A name connection will be created for each data file using the file location specified. If the name connection already exists with the same name, a message will display asking if the connection string should be overwritten. So if we look at this, we can see it is already entered the name Contact Manager. We have two data files, one for web security and one for the actual data. We're going to include the data file, in this case, for the web security. Also include sample data for the Contact Manager. And we're going to open a help window and exit. We click OK. It starts copying the files from, from the system into the template. And once they are here, it opens up a form about the contact manager. It gives the key properties, has an access database for the data and a separate access database for security. It uses a tabbed UI for the main page and tells you what to do next. Uh, you need to publish all files in the project, including the security cables, and then select the index A5W file page to open after in publishing. And the web security has two users. The user names are John Doe and Jane Smith. Both use the same password. Uh, password. You can log in as either user to view contacts for that user. Jan John Doe is an administrator. Jane Smith is just a regular user. This project can be overwritten if the, if the create new project process is run again and this template is selected. In this way you can overwrite the data tables and now use tables that do not have any sample data. So we can close it here, and we now have a complete application that has been entered for the project. And it includes all the data files. And if we go back to the control panel, we can look at the connection strings, and we will see we have two connection strings, one for web security and one for the contact manager.